You know, it's so refreshing to see a Liam Neeson action movie where for once his family doesn't get taken away from him. Oh, sorry, what? Oh, they do? Oh. Hey there, guys, Tom here. Welcome back to my movie channel, and thank you very much for joining me for this, my review of the brand new Liam Neeson movie, Black Light. Black Light stars Liam Neeson. He works off the books for his friend, the director of the FBI, and he's a fixer. He goes around and he does the FBI's dirty work. But when he discovers that his old war buddy, who happens to be the director of the FBI, is also killing innocent civilians, he must put a stop to it. If you guys haven't been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so that you never miss out on my take on all things movies. So look, is this movie exactly what you'd expect it to be when you have Liam Neeson in an action movie? Yes. But I am a sucker for these movies. I am. I'm a big Liam Neeson fan, and I love seeing him attempt to kick some ass, especially because, you know, Liam Neeson's getting up there in age, and while I love Liam Neeson, and he is still really good at being a threatening, dominating presence as far as action goes, you can really see that, you know, he can't do it like he used to back in 2008 with the first Taken movie. A movie that I love and that is very near and dear to my heart, by the way. And I feel like as much as Black Light is similar to every other Liam Neeson action movie, it does try its best to give a bit of a different angle. And in this movie, we have also like a journalistic angle to this film where this journalist, Mira, she's also trying to uncover what the FBI has been doing and keeping this secret from, you know, the American people. And she ends up working with Liam Neeson to try and uncover the truth and get the truth out there. And that's its main issue. There's a big portion of this movie, particularly in the first act and a half, where you've got Mira, this journalist, and she's trying to uncover these, these secrets along with Liam Neeson. But the movie keeps kind of skipping ahead, and so you end up missing out on, like, it feels like there are chunks of this movie missing, especially when you get to the third act resolution. It The resolution of this movie and the way this movie ends is so, like, short and abrupt, and you feel like, hang on, I just... I just missed, like, any sort of build-up or climax or, like, you, you know when you're, you're like, in an action movie where tension is building and building and building and then you get this big, like, climactic end and and then everything resolves, you know? But in, in this movie, it's like, it was building, it was building, it was building, and then all of a sudden it's over. And you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, what? I... They, that didn't that didn't resolve properly. It just ended. And so I'm left with a movie where, okay, Liam Neeson does some cool stuff. And, you know, he's being hunted by some FBI people. And you've got a cool journalist character. But I otherwise, I, I didn't really enjoy the film overall. Because this movie had an opportunity to be a little bit different to take the Liam Neeson action movie kind of genre that he's sort of built for himself, take that and do something a little different with it. But the film also wants to really pepper in a lot of, you know, modern day, like real world political messages in it. And that's fine when you work them organically into a story. And in this film it's very obvious and it's almost obnoxious and look i'd be remiss if i didn't talk about the the family going missing it's no spoiler because it's in the trailers like they literally show you in the trailers by the way i won't tell you which shot but the ending scene of this movie or at least part of it is in the trailer that that completely confuses me it's like they put the ending of the movie in the trailer but you see in the trailer that obviously because he is trying to, you know, rat out the FBI, something happens to his family. I wouldn't mind that if we hadn't had taken one, two, and three, where in all those movies, his daughter is kidnapped or his wife is kidnapped, then maybe I would accept it and be like, okay, that's the story of the family, get right? But we've done the Liam Neeson looking for his family trope over and over and over again, and we don't, we didn't need it in this movie. We just didn't. Like, they put it in there because... They had Liam Neeson in the film. That's the only reason they put that in there. So listen, overall, guys, I was not really overly impressed with this movie. I love Liam Neeson, and Liam Neeson is great in this movie. He's fantastic. I love him. Keep doing what you're doing, buddy. You're doing a good job. 
Actually, there is there is a car chase in this movie where he's chasing after a, a, someone in a truck. I like that scene. But overall, not a movie that really worked for me. Have you guys seen Blacklight? If you have, make sure you jump down in the comment section below and let me know what you thought of this film. Remember, guys, if you haven't been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notifications bell, so you never miss out on my take on all things movies. My name is Tom. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.